We all thought that with the end of La Nina, we would be dealing with a at least a little bit wetter and cooler summer, but that isn't always the case. Our Nick Bannon spoke with the experts about NOAA about the impact El Nino has on our weather and why a strong El Nino doesn't always mean a nicer summer here in the state. Tom DiLiberto, climate scientist at NOAA's Office of Communication joins us. Tom, the fresh data on El Nino is now out and the odds of a strong El Nino are now two out of three. What are you thinking that means for us here in America this winter? So a strong El Nino doesn't necessarily mean that the impacts are gonna be strong, but what it does mean is that it's gonna have a more consistent potentially impact on the way our atmosphere sets up across the United States this winter. After the month of July, we saw kind of the telltale atmospheric signs in the Pacific Ocean get a little bit stronger. We saw there being an increase in the amount of precipitation around the dateline, a reduction in precipitation um, across Indonesia, and we saw the trade winds be a little bit weaker too than average, which is all kind of things you're looking for to see um, an El Nino not only exist, but also develop and strengthen. Now, we've also been seeing the incredibly warm temperatures of the sea surface uh, in the Atlantic. What sort of impacts and potential mitigating impacts could that have on El Nino? So this is an interesting time because El Nino is occurring against the backdrop of the global oceans just being so incredibly record-breakingly warm. And honestly, the impacts between the interplay between the above average ocean temperatures and let's say the Atlantic and the El Nino impacts could either sometimes help each other out or actually work against each other. An example of this is the hurricanes across the Atlantic. Normally during El Nino, you tend to see below average hurricane activity Atlantic, but with the oceans this warm, that actually serves to usually increase the amount of activity in the hurricane season. So even though we have an El Nino this year, it might not mean the below average year that normally comes with El Nino. The stronger the El Nino actually is, usually that means it might have more of an influence on the weather that happens across the United States this winter, but it's by no means is it the only thing that can have an influence. Is it a good thing to provide more better predictions of what's going to happen? Yes, but we've seen multiple years with El Nino's kind of give different outcomes across the United States. It's another reason why when you're looking towards this winter, it's really important to keep paying attention to the weather forecast as we get closer to that time period. Okay. Tom DiLiberto, climate scientist at NOAA's Office of Communication. Thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me.